everyone and welcome back to my channel Melanade Beauty. In today's video I am going to be giving you a complete transformation of my extremely tiny entryway in my small apartment. There's going to be a couple of renter friendly and inexpensive DIYs of course as well as some organization hacks that I have for my entryway closet. I'm actually kind of ashamed to show you this space because I kind of let it get out of hand it's so much traffic in such a small space so it tends to get really dirty very quickly and I kind of just let that area go for a while but I'm finally doing something about it and I'm so happy to show you all the results were amazing so I really hope you enjoy this video so let's just get right into it As you can see, it is not a pretty sight. I have this old doormat and an old bookshelf that I use to hold all my shoes. And inside of the closet, I have tons and tons of just junk and random items like Christmas and pillows and tools, craft supplies, it's just full of just stuff that I don't know where to put them. So I definitely have to go through all of this and organize that. So I think the best option is to work from the inside out, so I'll be tackling the closet first. I'm gonna start by removing all of the unnecessary items, finding a spot for them in other parts of my house, especially all of the coats that I do not wear on a daily basis. They will be going back into my actual bedroom closet and I'll be moving up here all of the stuff that I actually use every day so it's more convenient. Now that everything is finally cleaned out, I can go ahead and clean this area, give it a good sweep, and I'll be mopping as well later on. But I have a plan to add some extra hanging storage on the wall with these C hooks. I just use a piece of scrap wood and cut it down to size. So this way I can be able to hang my mops and brooms to get any extra additional floor space available for other items. I'm going to be adding this three tier rolling car inside the closet so I can organize cleaning supplies and have easy access to them when needed. These roller carts are so easy and quick to put together. They're inexpensive as well. I found this one rounded, but you can also get the ones that are square depending on your space. I'll leave the one I use down below. I picked up these storage caddies at the Target dollar section so I could store more storage for cleaning supplies, especially on the top shelf in my closet. I love this sage green color, of course. It's my favorite color for anything home decor. So 
So the idea was to have this closet as a catch-all closet, but organized and not cluttered and messy like before. So I have cleaning supplies, my cat supplies, and I'm also going to be storing any of my additional tools that I use for crafts. Um, and I found these at Target for only $4, these storage bins, and I just neatly folded and put these tools in there. And it was great because I can actually see what they are and where I can find them. And that's also a tub of Jenga pieces as well. I found this shoe organizer that hangs over the door at Target for the Room Essentials, which is a great affordable line at Target. And this was going to be perfect to hang all of my like smaller summer shoes like sandals and slides because they're easily to fit inside of those pockets. And that way it gives up a lot of additional space for the new shoe cabinet that I also have that you'll be seeing later in the video. I'm also going to be using the removable hooks for the inside of the closet to hang this basket for any like essentials that I need for the weather. Right now we're in the colder months so I'm going to be adding a scarf, a hat, and an umbrella. So this is just like an easy access. I know exactly where it is in case I just need to throw on some gloves and of course an additional back scratcher because I have so many of them around the house. It's so satisfying now to see that everything has a purpose and a place in the closet. Get to hang up all of those cleaning supplies and free up the floor space. Now that everything is finally neatly organized in the closet, I can go ahead and move on to the actual entryway and start deep cleaning that space. So because this space is so small, I feel like this accent wall should definitely have a pop, something that makes it kind of a wow factor when you first walk in. And I decided to go with a faux grass greenery wall by using this indoor outdoor area rug from Lowe's for only $25. And it's actually a pretty decent size for what you get. I just think this beautiful like green color is like really refreshing, especially when you first walk in. And I'm also going to be adding this Target mirror as well. So I measured my wall space and measured that onto the area rug and cut it to size. Clearly my cat Cleo loves this rug. I actually used the scrap pieces for a cat wall that I am in the process of creating as well. That'll be the next video you see on my channel so please stay tuned for that. To apply this piece of rug to the wall I'm going to be using some command strips. So I just outlined the perimeter of the wall with the command strips and then I did the same thing on the opposite side of the rug where it will snap into place on the other side, if that makes sense. Um, the only thing I wish I did was hot glue the command strips to the back of the rug because it didn't really adhere very well because of the material. But what I did instead was just reinforce it with a staple gun and that really helped.
almost made it to the bottom, but not quite. So I just cut off an additional scrap piece and just stapled it at the bottom. I'm not really worried about the line that you see because it's gonna be at the bottom and you won't really be able to tell. And here it is, the beautiful final greenery wall. And here is the new shoe organizer that is well overdue. I purchased this from Amazon. I love it so much. It fits perfectly to the T in the little area that I have. First, I added this little area rug from Target, which this video is not sponsored by Target at all. It's just pretty much my go-to place for a quick update for home decor. I'm also going to be mounting this mirror above the shoe cabinet, so I'm going to be using this tape method by adding this piece of tape from the two hanging pieces on each side, and I'm going to add a mark so that way I know exactly where I have to mark once I apply this tape to the wall. This hack is such a great hack. I use it every single time I have to measure and hang something by myself. So here I am placing that piece of tape to the wall, leveling it to make sure it's leveled. And now I'm going to go in with my drill. You'll see that I'm checking for some studs because it is a pretty heavy mirror. And I just wanna make sure that it's really secure on the wall and doesn't fall or anything. But in case I don't find a stud, which I didn't on this right side, I'm gonna be adding a anchor inside so that way I am still very secure and confident that this will not fall off the wall. All right, you might need to help me. You might need to help me? So clearly I was very excited about how it was all coming along. I am now removing those handles from the cabinet because I would like to spray paint them just to make them more adhesive with the style and decor. So I am first priming them and then after that's dry I go in with this metallic gold spray paint. I also think these new gold handles will make the green wall pop more so than the silver that it initially came with. So this is another inexpensive way to update your furniture, whether you're doing cabinetry or spray painting furniture legs, you can really transform a look by just switching out the hardware. Personally, for my shoe size, I can fit up to 14 pairs of shoes in this shoe cabinet, but I am sharing it with Daniel who has a size 13 foot. So I'm keeping the top portion and he gets the bottom portion. So also because his shoes are so long, I have to push it, position them at an angle in order for them to fit. But once I do that, they fit perfectly and open up and close easily. I love how the shoe cabinet also comes with additional storage at the bottom to place like slippers or shoes that you just want to kick off and not want to actually put away right away. Moving on to the tragic boob lighting situation that I have here, I'm going to be swapping out this lighting fixture with actually a planter that I have and this has been in storage for a while. It has a broken leg and I just never use it, but I really love the rattan woven material. So I'm going to be removing this and I've had so much trial and error with this situation, but I ended up figuring out how to mount the basket really flush with the ceiling. Definitely needed a lot of tape and also some twine. So first I just cut a hole at the top and thought that'd be it. And I realized it was too long and the door of the closet kept hitting it and would smack it off. So what I did instead was take my jigsaw and I was going to cut right at the rim here, which I should have did in the first place to make it a perfect lampshade to mount to the ceiling. Once 
once I had that cut to size, I added some twine around the perimeter. You see three here, but in total I added five. And this is going to tie onto the metal rod that sticks right in the middle of the ceiling light. And this way it's gonna keep the lamp shade centered and flush to the wall. So I'm gonna add that back in and then I'm taking that twine and just tying it at the top. As you can see here, I wasn't able to film the process because it was just kind of hard to hold the camera and do that at the same time. And what I did is just reinforced it with some tape to keep it really flush to the ceiling. And yeah, that made this concoction and I absolutely love this DIY hack. I love the planter. It doesn't even really look like it's a DIY. It really looks like it's a ceiling fixture that I paid money for and I did it. <laughs> And to save additional money for this entryway, I decided to DIY my own doormat for the inside using some of that leftover greenery rug. And I just cut out a piece and decided to use some tape to create this checkered design. And I really love it. I just used some chalk paint. It's not perfect, but I really like the design. And to secure this more, I added a Dollar Tree doormat and just hot glued my rug piece onto that so it's more secure. And so it doesn't slip, I added this Dollar Tree grip mat as well to the bottom by just hot gluing and I also stapled it to the bottom of the mat off camera. Now I'm just going to add some finishing touches to the space. so much for watching to the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give a big thumbs up down below sound off in the comments if you had any inspiration on any of the diys that you've seen in this video let me know what you plan on doing to your entryway next and don't leave just yet go ahead and click this next video i'm sure you'll love it just as much as this one please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content and i'll see you guys in the next video bye